Hey, this is our lecture on browsing. Uh, last term, I know that you worked with Dr. KB looking at a couple of the browser basics. So the hope with this module is that we're going to take you a little bit beyond the basics, get you a couple of advanced browsing skills, and then finish up with a discussion about how you can effectively use browsers both as a teaching tool, you in front of a group of students, and also as a student learning tool. I remember being back in the classroom and saying, okay, we're gonna do internet research, which essentially amounted to opening up your browser and typing something into one of your search engines and then hoping that something good would come back to you, something that was usable. So we're gonna try and get beyond that and talk about some of the more advanced features. I'm actually using a program right now called Jing, that's just a side note, the pro version, which is gonna allow me to not only talk with you here in a video format, but also show you some things on the browser itself. So I want to turn that back over. I'm using Mozilla Firefox right now. That's my preferred browser, and it's just simply because of the fact that I've used this browser more than any other. One of the few things that I wanted to show you, though, while I have you, things that I really enjoy about Firefox is the ability to add a new tab. I can either click right here on the plus which opens up a new tab and I like using tabs because it keeps all of the previous windows there open and available for me. I can also create a tab through a keyboard command on my Apple. It's the open Apple or command the little fan key while I hold down T for tab and that will open up a new tab as well. So I can have multiple tabs and moving back and forth between them. One of the other features I like is the ability to type a search query right into the address bar here. So if I wanted to find out more about uh, educators using Jing, which is the program that I'm using right now, I can type that right in. It gives me Google's results right here in the window and all I need to do there is click on that link and of course that's gonna pop right into place. When I find a URL or a site that I want to hang on to and have easy access to, I can take this tab, clicking and holding down with my mouse, and drag it right up here into my toolbar, which gives me, as I said, very easy access. So even if I close this tab, I can come right back. Here it is in the toolbar. Click there, and it'll take me right back to it. Now, these stack up, let's see, about six of them. If I hit the arrows over here, it'll show me the rest of my bookmarks that I actually have in the toolbar, which of course is separate from my regular set of bookmarks. And these would be sites that you'd wanna come back to often. So as I said, you have the option to type the search query here, or of course to the right in the search query window. So just a couple of the features that I like about Firefox. Uh, one of the things that I think is pretty neat is up above, in the Tools pull-down menu, I can select Add-ons, which of course you can't see now because it's uh, it's hidden from the window. But when I select that, it takes me right away to the Add-ons, which is what we're really going to be focused on in our discussion. Extending a browser's capability by adding little mini applications to the actual browser window that allow you to be more productive and get access to some of the programs that you might want to use when you're not browsing, but have the benefit of including them right within your browser. So this has been a look at what Mozilla Firefox has to offer. The other three of the big four, Internet Explorer, uh, Safari, and then of course Google Chrome, have their own set of add-ons or extensions, which we're going to take a look at and explore this week. I want to get you started on your browser comparison. So if you read down a little bit further, You'll find uh, the instructions for that part of what we're doing. This is really going to be one of my favorite, I know, modules here in the course because we get to look at just how advanced browsers are becoming and really what a neat tool it is for not only teachers to be able to use but also your students and to become a little bit more familiar with. And I think one of the keys really here is how easy browsers are becoming to use, but there's still going to be some differences between the browsers. So in the matrix, I really want you to focus on usability. How easy is it for you to find the features that you need and then be able to put them into play? Because we're really talking about time spent online looking for information, and that time is going to be critical 